Mikel Arteta might find himself rushing back to the drawing board on the eve of the new Premier League season after a VAR shakeup looked to target one of Arsenal's strongest tactics. The North London side have been flag bearers of the dark art of holding over the last two seasons with the strategy, which often involves blocking or obstructing opponents from set pieces, aiding their rapid rise to title contenders. Set piece mastermind Nicholas Jover has coached the Gunners on set piece secrets and to great effect. The side had the most set piece goals, excluding penalties 22 goals, the most goals via corners 16 goals, and conceded the second fewest number of set piece goals, excluding penalties 6 goals last season. Crafty tactics often involve players backing into opposition goalkeepers and deploying NFL style blocking to leave defenders stranded and attackers ready to nod the ball home. But now it seems such methods are being shoved out of the game as the latest rules refresh, designed to help video technology run smoother looks to outlaw blocking and obstructing at set pieces, or at least referee it more stringently, the Times reports. Holding is a well-established offense in football which involves a player impeding an opponent's movement through contact with his body. For the 2024-25 campaign, officials will be keeping a keen eye on sustained and impactful holding, obvious non-footballing impacts on an opposition player's movement, and any clear impact on an opponent's ability to play the ball. This all looks set to leave Arsenal scrambling for a plan B as they aim to go one better than the previous two seasons and finally clinch the Premier League title. Last year it was noticeable that whenever the side had a set piece, the ever-active Arteta took a step back in the technical area and Jover took his space, issuing instructions. The pair's relationship began when the Spaniard introduced Jover to Manchester City after he had taken notice of his work at Brentford. The pair, who both speak English, French and Spanish, had hit it off immediately when they met after Arteta, then the city assistant coach, reached out to the Frenchman. Jover is given multiple sessions during the week to drill his various methods. It was he who convinced the Gunners boss to put Declan Rice on delivering corner kicks during the Dubai winter camp. And over the past few years, the new methods have been drilled so well into the players that it is almost second nature to create a sense of chaos in the box which is one of Jover's aims. While the marginal gains from set pieces have resulted in clinching narrow victories or even blowing sides away in recent times, not everyone has been impressed with the tactics. Writing for the Mail in May, Graham Sonis said we are witnessing a stealthy, very deliberate strategy from Arsenal and Ben White in particular to obstruct goalkeepers in a way which will avoid detection by the referees. Call me old-fashioned but what we're seeing here is cheating. This blocking by players from set pieces is more prevalent than ever before, which presents a challenge for referees. But Arsenal do this every game and it's always by white, so the penny should have dropped long ago. Arsenal have been using this pattern of offending ever since the set piece coach, Nicholas Jover, joined Mikel Arteta at Arsenal. That was two seasons ago. Well, the former Liverpool man has now had his way after the latest adjustments to the league's guidance for officials, seems to have strongly taken his advice. Among other tweaks, the shakeup will also see the inception of an umpire's call style system, similar to that in cricket, to end the forensic nature of VAR. From this season, referees will only be overturning clear errors as opposed to slight disagreements in the interpretation of the game's loss. This calls back to the original clear and obvious error mantra which was an original stipulation of the video referee system when it was first introduced five years ago. There should also be more clarity for fans attending matches this campaign with VAR decision which have overturned goals or ended in red cards now to be replayed on the big screen in stadiums. A new match center social media account will also explain decisions in real time and show such clips, while the Premier League also hope to trial referees announcing decisions to the crowd. And referees will now only be called over to the pitch side monitor for subjective calls with the incident set to be replayed at full speed to begin with before slow motion clips are played. Thierry Henry was voted as Arsenal's greatest ever player by male sport readers, beating Dennis Bergkamp and Tony Adams tens of thousands of male sport readers have voted over the summer to choose the greatest ever player at every current Premier League club. A convincing winner for the Arsenal poll. Henry is not only the record goal scorer in the club's history, he is widely regarded as the best overseas player ever seen in English football and won the Premier League Golden Boot on four occasions. Mr. Invincible, the leading Arsenal marksman in their historic unbeaten 2003-2004 campaign, gave the league its VAVA -VA voom, 
his style and grace making him a huge hit with advertisers and bringing a new audience to the game. He also won the FA Cup twice and helped Arsenal reach the Champions League final in 2006. He scored all types of goals from deft finishes to long-range howitzers and returned for a brief loan in 2012, fittingly scoring the winner against Sunderland in his final game. Thierry is an exceptional player who writes football history, said his manager Arsene Wenger who signed the Frenchman as a young winger who had struggled Juventus and helped turn him into a world-class striker. Thierry Henry was simply unstoppable during his Arsenal days and robbed of World Player of the Year. There was also strong support among Gunners fans for King Dennis Bergkamp who symbolized Arsenal's evolution from a defensively-minded team into the great entertainers, and Tony Adams, captain in four league championship sides under George Graham and Wenger.